We're coming to the end of 2023 and I just can't believe we've been in our new studio for almost a year now and considering we mostly focus on gaming PCs and laptops, I felt it was about time we updated our gaming setup. Now of all the gaming laptops that we've reviewed this year, one of my personal favourites has been the Razer Blade 18. We decided to get the Blade 18 in the Mercury colour and having used it for a couple of months I've become completely obsessed with this shiny new colour. So much so that I've shunned all my black Razer peripherals. Now Gary, having nothing to do, I've sent him out to buy me a ton of new Mercury peripherals to go with my Blade 18. And I want to get this out up front, Razer have an amazing range of Mercury products if you do go the Mercury route, but the one product, the one black sheep in the range, is the Razer Raptor monitor. Now Razer only make one monitor, and it is only a 27 inch, and comes in black. There's no other choice. And we have had to use it in this build because we wanted to keep a whole Razer themed desktop. But come on Razer, if you're watching this video, give us a better range of monitors and bring in a Mercury. And with that gripe out of the way, let me show you our new setup. And I want to start with a new area we've created. Our studio is a pretty boring office build, so we wanted to spruce it up with a splash of colour. I think we may have overdone it, but hopefully it will make a great backdrop for the videos over the next coming year. We wanted to go for a clean white aesthetic, so we used a white polywall tile surrounded by some RGB. And for this we used the Govi products, which I've been really impressed with. For the outer surround, we've used the Govi Glide, and to give the tile some colour texture, we've used the Govi Sconces, which I am totally in love with, allowing me to finally have an RGB rainbow across the wall. For the desk, I want to say a big thanks to Vernal. And we wanted a large white standing desk, and Vernal really came through with this amazing all-in-one system. Not only was it the easiest and quickest standard desk I've ever built, but it has incredible build quality, cable management, whilst also being able to handle 160 kilograms of load meaning I could even put my old Alienware Area 51 laptop on here. The desk has a height range between 58 and 123 centimetres, and you can utilise its four height presets to make life easy. Plus, even at its maximum height, it's incredibly stable. Now, Vernal have given us a 7% discount code, so we'll put that in the description down below with a link to their actual website. Go and check them out because these are really great desks. So obviously, the star of the show is the Razorblade 18, and our model came with the i9-3950HX with an RTX 4080 graphics card. And this laptop is truly a desktop replacement on its own without even a setup like this. And I've really enjoyed gaming on its 18 inch panel. But the fact you can so easily dock it, like I've done here, to make a full gaming setup is really the icing on the cake. Now just to start with, I've actually used a riser from Razer. This is the Mercury laptop stand. Now this comes in at £45 in the UK. Now, unlike the black versions, there's no built-in hubs in this one, but it's great for just giving the laptop a bit of airflow whilst also increasing the screen height in line with the monitor. Now, with regards to the keyboard, I bought the Razer Deathstalker V2 Pro. I wanted this keyboard because it's compact, wireless, low profile, and it also has media controls, which I use a surprising amount. And I think this keyboard looks absolutely great in any desktop setup. The keyboard is sitting on the Goliath Extended Chroma mouse pad, which not only fits in great with this setup, but also has a lovely RGB ring right around the mouse pad itself. And it also sits nicely under the keyboard and the mouse of my choice, the Razer Basilisk V3 Pro. Now this is a pretty chunky mouse, but I actually love some of the features it offers, such as the hyper scroll tilt wheel and the sniper button, the hyperspeed wireless and the amazing underglow RGB lighting. Plus I really love the feel of this mouse in my hand. And as I use it as much for work as I do for gaming, this really does come into its own. For the headphones, I picked up the Razer Barracuda X. They are a pretty great price in the UK and they do a good job. Plus they're wireless with a USB-C dongle and can also be used via Bluetooth or a 3.5 millimeter cable. I also love the fact that the cups rotate, making them very compact for travel, as I like to take these headsets everywhere with the laptop. Now these are sitting on the Razer Base Station V2 Chroma. It's an expensive headset stand, but I love the RGB base, plus it also has two USB-A ports which are used for the wireless dongles. And it also includes an inbuilt audio DAC plus 3.5 millimeter headset port in case you want to run a wide headset through this stand. Lastly, again, I want to mention the monitor. Now, despite only being available in black, it's still been an absolutely solid monitor. 
Now it does have some niggles. The cable management is great when you've got it all working, but it's a real faff to set up. Plus you do need to really use the Razer cables with this monitor. But it is a solid, well-built monitor that fits the Razer aesthetic and also has that lovely RGB base. It has a good range of height adjustment and motion on the actual screen. Another feature that I really like is that you can control it through the Synapse software. So I don't need to give it a reach around to fiddle with the control knob. Plus the picture quality is great. And whilst 165 Hertz isn't the fastest, it's still a pretty solid gaming experience for your FPS shooters. Plus it has a USB-C port as well as an HDMI and display port. So it means it's easy to plug into the Razer Blade 18 laptop. So overall, I'm really pleased with just how well this gaming setup has turned out. Not only does it look great, but it's been incredibly fun to game over my new area. And when I finish work at the end of the day, I can just unplug the Razer Blade 18 and plug that, my mouse and my headset straight in my bag. I'm off out of the office. Plus hopefully it's gonna provide a nice backdrop for all of our new videos for 2024. Now as always, I'd love to know what you guys think. What do you think of the setup and what do you think of the Razer Blade and the accessories? Let me know in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.